Used to be in the United States Marine Corps. That was my job before I did this. <laughs> you're welcome and you're very kind because usually when I tell people that I was in the Marines, they tend to look at me like, look, man, don't take this the wrong way. But you don't look anything like a Marine. <laughs> well, of course, I don't look like a Marine because that's exactly what the enemy would be expecting me to look like. <laughs> But you never really get out of the Marine Corps, do you? Because they have that dang saying, once a Marine, always a Marine. Seems a bit much, doesn't it? <laughs> the other services don't do that. You know what the Navy's motto is? Once a sailor, not anymore, very normal. <laughs> now I've been out for decades, but I will tell you this, I don't believe in cliches, but I still see this one everywhere I go, is that women love a man in uniform. I still see this. Every airport in America, it is a magical power. You put this in the bank, women love a man in uniform. Yes, they, yes, they do. Except for adult boy scout troop leader. <laughs> with you. I agree with you. That is the creepiest thing I've ever seen in my life. I saw a troop going through the airport. I wanted to grab the kids and say, look, I don't want to scare you, but there's a grown man dressed just like you <laughs> attempting to blend in with you right now. How do you explain that behavior to people that don't know what the Boy Scouts are? You say, what'd you do this weekend? Well, I dressed up like the kids and took them in the woods. What about you? <laughs> deserve their own uniform is my point. <laughs> but I have had a chance to go overseas and do shows with the men and women stationed in the Middle East. And when you do comedy in a war zone, everybody has a very different reaction. Some people think it's a noble idea. Some people think it's a crazy idea. My sister-in-law asked me to bring her back a fridge magnet. <laughs> a fridge magnet. Now, first I'm thinking, well, maybe she didn't hear what I said. Maybe she didn't hear me say, I'm going to Iraq. Maybe she thought I said, hey, I'll be right back. <laughs> And when you're out there, why don't you grab me a fridge magnet? <laughs> now, the best part is, I found one. <laughs> I bought one that said, who's your bag daddy? <laughs> I'm not sure if you're laughing or you're squeezing a puppy. I have no idea. <laughs> it's, just, it's like a chew toy over there. I have no idea. But thank you for your service. We appreciate it. Thank you very much. <laughs> now, actually, I did go to college on a Marine Corps scholarship. The Marine Corps was my student loan. So when I hear young people go, oh, my student loans are killing me, my student loan actually tried to kill me. <laughs> now, the crazy thing is, I went to Harvard. The Marine Corps paid for Harvard University. Now, I'm not bragging when I say that. If you think I'm getting arrogant with you, let's just take a moment together and let's just follow the trajectory of my life. <laughs> Harvard, then the Marine Corps, then stand-up comedy. <laughs> I basically took my parents' hopes and dreams and I, I chipped away at them one jaw-dropping decision at a time. <laughs> you want a dose of humility? Go to a Harvard reunion and you become a stand-up comedian. Those are wonderful. <laughs> Wonderful conversations. Like, well, what do you do for a living? Well, I run a nonprofit organization and we supply blood to children in need. What do you do? Oh, me? Well, I run a nonprofit career. <laughs> and I sell my blood for money, so perhaps we've worked together in the past. <laughs>